Hey guys, this will be the most exposing, most roasted rant on Disney with the help of Tomcat Productions, who is Facebook messaging us. You go ahead and expose Bob Iger the best he's ever been exposed in history today. We gotta tell you, so I got some news and updates of what Disney has done recently to the point where, guess what? Guys, Disney is starting to actually backfire. 47% Rotten Tomatoes on the most recent Dumbo. And 57% on Aladdin, which came out today. And, okay, so they They're starting to drop movie. a little bit. It's no longer certified fresh for those last two remakes. Uh, uh, Dumbo has, hasn't even been certified fresh. Yeah, that one hasn't even been certified fresh, period, even when it came out. So, um, can I explain next something? Yes. Give it all oh, away. Oh, um, okay, so with the release of Avengers Endgame... That proved to be a hit, but don't. But with the new Aladdin that came out, uh, okay, I'll admit I can tell that it was gonna suck from the beginning. Me too. <sighs> so you just okay. can't do that. And also with the fire of Fox, that means that the original X Men series is gonna end pretty soon. Oh God. Uh, Wow, really? You're gonna, you're literally gonna quit the X Files. I mean, the X Men series and the X Files series. Let's say that, even though that ends a long time ago, but still. And there's gonna be no Simpsons movie too. And if if it did, they, if Disney goes like, oh, we're gonna do it, I'm not gonna go see it because I don't trust them. I don't want to give Disney my money and have them burn me because I already know they would burn me. Guess what? MGM is actually, on the other hand, is reviving companies. Shout out to MGM. MGM, and I'm you, and I'm thank you. Much, actually. Okay, speaking of, speaking of MGM, as it turns out, Disney, under the Fox label, is going to do a remake of West Side Story. And Without what? MGM's permission, guys, they're making... Disney is making a remake to West Side Story without MGM's permission. Guess what? To the, guess what? MGM flipped on them as a result. Ha <laughs> ha! In fact, show visual proof. And I looked, I looked and looked. I barely saw any mention of MGM. Yeah. And I think that's only the case because MGM originally made the film. Oh so yeah, guys, it was without or, MGM's permission. Artists, Defend that! SJWs. Look it up on the internet if you don't believe us. Now, let's see. Um, what else? What else? This MGM is factual. Out. This, everything. And by the way, Tomcat is the one that did all the research. So, that's why I'm having him talk okay, this time. So, maybe. and also, I'm going to explain something else. Yes. Before, before we continue, they were, they were, well, I heard they're doing the Terminator 6. Terminator thought, 6? Well, okay, before I explain, um, I heard that Paramount was going to do a Terminator 6. So, I I looked and I thought, huh, maybe, and I realized it's going to ignore the events from 3, 4, and 5. So, I thought, huh, this will be interesting. Oh, so it'll be kind of a continuation of 1 and 2. Uh, okay, I guess that's yeah. a bit better. That's more understandable. All right, yeah, I'll, you know what? Then I realized, I'll let it go. Yeah, and I thought... You know, I'll let it go, Fox because the 4 and 5 suck, so okay, let's just see what 6 does. I'll be optimistic you know, this Cameron. time. And I mean, hell, it's MGM. Uh, it can't suck that bad. MGM it despises Disney now after making a live-action... Uh, making a remake to West Side Story without their permission. Yeah, see? And also, with, and guys, with Disney the, is so the, greedy. They even came, came up with the remake that... Without MGM's permission, and MGM flipped. Ha ha! Because, you suck, Disney! What? You suck, Bob Iger! Now, I told you guys, one day Disney would fall. It discontinued. It's happening! Look it up! Aladdin and, and Dumbo, and not certified fresh. So I Ratings are dropping. I found out that the trailer for Terminator 6 came out. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. Oh, uh, yeah. But then again... They did this to me before, or it might be just terrible marketing, but we'll see what happens, I guess. 
So oh, maybe they're just saving. Maybe they're just saving the thrill for this for the actual movie itself. But we'll see. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? It might suck balls. We have yet to know. Yeah. But when it comes to live action remakes like this, it should be obvious that they're gonna suck. I already know Aladdin and Dumbo especially would suck. And balls. speaking of remakes, um, let's see what um what MGM has done. So let's see. Um, and guys, let me say something. MGM has been ago, giving to the fan wine. base, asking the fans what they want, and look at what Disney's doing. They're getting rid. They killed Touchstone. They killed Miramax. They killed. Hollywood Pictures, they killed another company, Caravan Pictures, they killed Spyglass, they killed... Well, I got, oh, I got I, not really Spyglass, actually. actually. I think they, that was they, um, some, some company called Rancher Entertainment recently revived Spyglass and it's separate from Disney. Oh, good. Because Disney basically gave them the finger. And, and ironically... And guess what MGM's doing? They revived United Artists. They revived Orion. And you go ahead and talk more, Tom Cat, of what else MGM gave to the table. What Disney's taken away from you. And guess what? This money should be going to MGM, period. Go ahead. Okay, so to add on to that, um, but not just reviving Orion Pictures, they also revived Orion Classics. Yes! Not and joking. You know I know you don't like Warner Brothers, but I'll tell you something. You know how and you know how some of Orion's movies were by Warner Brothers? Yeah. Apparently MGM's giving their company the opportunity to get the Orion company to do something else with Warner Brothers. To bring back old times, you know? Mm. That then I might consider giving them another chance if they do that. Well, they they, they did recently with uh, um. I mean, as long as they get good ratings and they're like classic movies, I'll go see it. Um, yeah, well, then then yeah. it makes sense why I'd go see it. I'm not yeah, totally well, hating of Warner Brothers, even though they pissed me off with Injustice because that game was a piece of shit. It took my money. No, it, it, it took, like, hundreds of dollars I spent on that fucking game getting those characters, and then it deleted all the characters because of a glitch. And what else? Is, what else is? All that money I gave to Warner Brothers so, and for uh, a big middle finger. So, uh, when it comes to MGM, well, so MGM they get nothing like some remakes of some of the game. Zero, but oh. I'll, I'll tell you mm -hmm. something. Rather than remaking their big movies, like, um, Fiddler on the Roof, um, uh, do something like it hot and some like. So basically, what they're doing instead is they're gonna take the lesser known films and put them out to the bigger audience. Yeah, which makes a ton more sense. Why don't we do something yeah, like that? If they if they did do it with the more known films, like say they're doing a remake That's a of the Secret great Nim, suggestion. But guess what? Yeah. Rather than doing it, rather than doing like. Doing exactly everything that they did in the animated version, they're gonna make it closer to the book. Yeah, make it closer to what it used to be. The kind of what and it used to be. Rather than called the Secret of Nim this time, it's gonna be called the I Rats mean, the of old... Nim. Yeah, the last Nim. Oh wow. Yeah, the Rats of Nim. Hang on, let me just hang on, let me look up. Some... Oh, so that's what the original book like was called. That's what the original book was called. Holy moly! And I, and I think MGM's trying to forget that the 2015 Poltergeist ever happened because they're apparently trying to do a new one so they can forget that thing ever happened. Oh, yeah, because that movie bombed so hard, MGM just wants to forget about that movie pretty and, much. And Fox. And Fox. Oh, both. Yeah. This. And look who owns Fox. Dickheads. That's what I'm going to call Disney for now on. D for dickheads. And, um, so, and with the new Child's Play that's coming out, under the Orion label, no less. I mean, seriously, I could be doing our things right now. I could be going to Taco Bell right now, but I'm here doing this because Disney needs to keep doing this crap to us. So guess what? We're going to be here. We're going to find time to call them out more. Continue. And with the new, with the new, um, Rocky movies that are coming out, looks like, Creed, I think they're mm -hmm. called. 
rather than Rocky being the boxer, he's now a, 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 a trainer. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, and I, and I haven't seen the Creed movies yet, but I hear they're fantastic. And the new Star Wars one that they did with Warner Brothers was a masterpiece. Yeah, and the new Star Wars are nearly unwatchable compared to the originals. They're pathetic, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, so, so yeah, let's see the reception. That Especially the, the Last Star Jedi. Wars that film looks God. like a freaking high school version of Star Wars. Yeah, so for the remake of a Star Wars Born that came out in 2018, let's see. Ooh, it was nominated for Best Picture of 2018. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it didn't win. But, and it got a 90% Rotten Tomatoes. Yep. Even though, even though MGM's logo is not shown, but they're only credited in name. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. That works too, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because that it has something to do with the 1937 film, because United Artists released that one. And I, I know it's in the public domain, but it works. Because, you know, MGM technically now is the rights to the 37 film. So, let's see what else I've got. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, how about this? So, mm -hmm. they're now doing a Bond 25, which, again, Bond had many other films before that. So, it makes sense on why they're doing a new one. Yeah, I think, I think Bond 25 is self-explanatory. And they're doing an animated version of the Adams Family, because mm -hmm. you know how the 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 nineteen nineties film was actually an Orion movie internationally. Yeah. I think MGM also reacquired the full movie rights to that one, but I'm not positive. Mm -hmm. So MGM is now doing the remake of this. Not not like a remake necessarily, but uh, twenty nineteen. Animated version. Oh wow, that's weird. And and the character designs. I know that some say that it doesn't really blend well, but I think the new designs are fantastic. <clears throat> they remind me so much of Tim Burton's art style. Oh wow, it's insane. I think that Tim Burton was actually gonna do the do the Adams Family movie, but he dropped out for some reason. I don't know why. Weird. Mm hmm But, um, and also, rather than, rather than MGM caring about themselves, they're also going to be helping out with another company called Annapurna Pictures. Hmm. Oh, my God. So, even another addition of what Disney's taking so, away. They're taking away their own. They, you know how many companies they destroyed? And now, and they also took Fox. Yeah, they freaking shut down Fox's shit, too. And, so yeah, and a, Disney and, minus 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 took down several companies. Well, guess what? MGM revived several companies. And and, and Annapurna is MGM is helping. And MGM guys, and I have a question: How many companies did Disney revive? Answer that. None. Exactly. None. One one thing I miss. Yeah. Toon Disney. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that oh, died oh, too. My oh my god, yet another. You see this? I don't mean to be a nostalgia turd, but still. Neon Mickey, which obviously is gone. Black yeah, Diamond. And then again, that's been long gone. I know, but still, you know what? We'll even add that. Because, you know, it was Disney's decision to actually kill those two. They killed everything. All those yeah. companies. Um, yeah. well, well, look at so what MGM's really, reviving. They're that, reviving United Artists. Um, they're reviving some of the other classic stuff, and too. And they're helping out smaller studios get fame. Yes, while Disney's and, taking and away and shutting down certain out, stuff. Booksmart, Don't you guys... That's got... A 97% are Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, don't That's you prefer beautiful. a 97% over what Disney's doing now? Like 57% and then a 45%? Yeah. What was Dumbo? 47? I think it was 47, oh, yeah. Oh, 47. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. hang, on, hang on, let me send you a picture right now. So this, so this new movie that came out called Booksmart, yeah, rather than it getting a high rating on Rotten Tomatoes, 
it's it's also making fun of these crazy teen drama films like Fallen Our Stars. Oh yeah, it's those like, films. It, I mean, it, it, it is a teen it is a teen movie, but it's like a teen comedy. And here's the reception it's getting right now. And if you look hard and. And on the film's poster, you can see the Orion, uh, the the United Artists releasing logo on the bottom. It's hard to see. I'm sorry, but it's there. Wow, United Artists. MGM actually cares about United Artists, guys. I don't know how well you can see it, but turned 100 years old, so that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and also, guys. Let me show you two examples of MGM turning on Disney. Look at what they did in the most recent posters to Child Play. Basically, taking the taking the posters to Toy Story 4 and shoving it up their ass. <laughs> yes. Because they're literally making a remake without MGM's permission, guys. That is something we can't accept. That is just too far. We can't, guys, we can't accept that. That is just, that's beyond crazy. I mean, that is really, seriously, that is, if that's not crazy, I don't know what is crazy. Hmm. What else, what else, what else has happened? Well, especially when you compare it to MGM, all the additions they've done while Disney has just taken stuff away. Sure, they revived Star Wars, but they fucked it up. They unfucked it up. And the thing I'm concerned about is how the new Indiana Jones is gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be sh shit, I bet. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It just seems like they can't make stuff anymore, like unlike MGM, apparently. I mean, no, I'm not well, sure about the remakes, happen, but... I think I know it's probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Is if MGM buys back their pre-1986 film library. Yeah. I know it would be a huge loss to Warner Brothers library, but let's be honest, Warner Brothers is going to have their own hits. Exactly. Warner Brothers already has its own hits. I don't know why they bought... I think I... doesn't look that good in my opinion yeah. I don't know it might be all right though it did get yeah, a great well, rating is, like already out of the theaters because unfortunately it was a flop due to terrible marketing at the time oh wow terrible yeah, marketing I'm certain, mm -hmm. gonna, I'm certain it's gonna get fixed pretty soon I mean with future movies that is hmm. anyway um what else what else is it um yeah, I'll tell you, MGM's the of... total opposite of Disney. Well, can we say, on the other hand, what Disney's doing? And what they're screwing so they're up? Taking, they're taking the big actors and the big remakes and the big, I mean, not the big remakes, the big films, big actors, big directors. Oh, God. This is reminding me of what's happened to Disney in the, in the early 80s. Yes. So... Okay, so yeah, I think you know in the eighties that Disney tried to was fighting hard to get back up to their former glory, just which is um putting all the big actors, big directors, big composers, big whoever's into their movies, and they bombed terribly. Mm -hmm. 
I think they're going to make the same mistake they did last time. Wow. If they keep this crap up. So MGM's also doing a remake of the Thomas Crown Affair. I know they did that last time, but I'm not really... I'm kind of new to the Thomas Crown Affair thing, so I... Okay, may, may, oh, I'm not I sure how this one will so be, well but done, still. we'll see. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we'll see. Hmm. I don't know, maybe they'd add improvements a little bit, maybe they won't. Maybe it'll be crap, who knows, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see what happens, so... Oh, oh, MGM, this seemed to be a lot more credible than Disney now. So, I'll get him a chance. And, hmm. Well, I mean, granted that MGM is doing a Sesame Street movie, but I think that's more on Warner Brothers' part. I know the SJW is going to be like, aren't you so happy that that Aladdin is back in the theaters? Do you want to know what would, would be a better idea if they did instead of making a live-action land? They could have at least re-released the original in movie theaters for a short period of time. Like what Fox used to do, but guess what? You got you now took over Fox and you're like, uh-uh, you ain't getting any of that good stuff anymore. And, and if you said, I, I don't know if Disney released their movies like back then. Like, look at, look at how much money The Lion King made when it was back in theaters. Yeah. And that's impressive for a three for a three week release. Yeah, and guess what? That's a perfect way to be greedy. Not being greedy and being a dumbass about it. That's being greedy and actually caring at the same time. Okay, so I just looked at the re release. If you don't have any ideas, then think about your original classics. What move what made you as a company? Don't you want to bring so, them back and not screw okay, them up with the uh, live action I nonsense? Just at the box office results for the Lion King um, re-release in 3D, in 2011, it it says it was only in theaters for like three weeks, but they made 422 million domestic. Why don't they so do that instead? They make so much more money than what they're doing right now. People are gonna eventually stop going to go see them. And it's just gonna be full so, of bullshit. You know, you know your movie. You know your movies are doing terrible. When the re-release makes more money than the remake. Yeah, that happens a lot of the time with Disney. Yeah, think about that, guys. That's a perfect way to That's think about it. Money Titanic made when it was back in theaters. Its remakes oh. aren't making squat, literally, compared to the originals. If you guys just re-release the originals, you'll make a ton more money than if you make than these stupid ass remakes you're making. How about that? You'll make even more money. Granted, it's actually been proven now. Look that great in 3D, but still. Sure, they may not look that great in 3D, but you know what? Think of all that extra money it is. Just even going to go see it in 2D. How fun it, that is to see it again in theaters. Besides, Mulan and some of those other movies have only been in theaters once. Why not put them in theaters again? For like a special edition. And maybe not make it like the 1997 Star Wars re-releases, because they basically... Screwed them up. Um, yeah, that, that's a different topic, but... Yeah. But then again, I think Fox re uh, yeah, Fox re-released um, The Phantom Menace one time. But... Yeah. I forgot. Literally, guys, the originals have proven to actually... When they got released the theaters, they have proven to be um, make a ton more money than the remakes. Apparently, why are they and doing the remakes if not only, not only you, people people are gonna stop gonna go, people are gonna stop seeing them, and people are gonna stop supporting you as a company. People are gonna um, just they're they're not gonna take you seriously, and guess what? They're gonna take your money to your rival. Is it worth it? So, guess, guess what MGM's also doing? Mm -hmm. They're finally going to put out a real Legally Blonde 3. Yeah, guys, they're making a Legally Blonde 3, a movie that people have been waiting for, apparently. 
uh, you know, granted, well, Disney's doing remakes that nobody good, asked for. Neither the first one, but hey, they liked it, so. Hmm. And, and he said something like, Legally Blondes. Ugh, that was bad. Yeah, we don't talk about that. Seriously, though. And You'd make actually a lot more money if you re-release the originals than if you actually remake it. Your remakes do... All right, the remakes are doing terrible you're doing, that you're doing now. The last two have gotten not very good ratings compared to the others. So yeah, and Disney, you're actually dropping. Is that the, really the way you want to be? You want to destroy your company image worldwide? Oh, my God. This just in. Um... So they're now, they're now also going to be doing, uh, like I said, uh... I'll tell you, in five years from now, people are going to be laughing Robocop about this to no Lord, end. But the thing is that the new How Robocop dumb that they're is. doing is going to ignore the events for the sequels and the remake. Yes. So it's really... So it's actually Robocop necessary. Too. Well, Disney is probably going to take what's most popular. I mean, not what's... Well, MGM does that, but guess what? Disney's going to screw it up if it's more popular. Like Star Wars. They tend to make it... They made it even worse than the way Fox made the, the prequels. In yeah, my opinion. At least anyway. the prequels, they tried to make it enjoyable. Exactly. They, tr they tried to make it good. With Disney, it just feels rushed. Like, it feels like it was just made for money, really. And I'm just doing some... Especially The Last right Jedi. That movie got like a 50%. Another movie that didn't get certified fresh from modern day Disney. See? Disney's dropping, guys. We have to do something. This is ridiculous. Why is Disney doing this? Hmm, While well, MGM's giving you all these pluses, doing. Disney is taking money out of your pocket and providing you... They're literally charging you more and they're doing this to you. Well, MGM's actually really creative. They're, they're reviving what made them... Why not revive the the era of Black Diamonds? Why don't you... On DVDs. Why don't you re Why don't you release some masterpiece... Well, to see masterpiece DVDs. Some newer ones. Why not bring them back? Why not bring back Walt Disney Home Video for rarity yeah. on DVDs and what they'd be like? Why not do what Best Drop Video did once with the big V? They released Blu-rays with the big V logo. They made a logo for the Blu-ray v big V logo. I might actually do that logo pal tone sometime. Maybe I'll do it later tonight. And we'll see what it sounds like pal tone. say if MGM actually gets back the pre-1986 film library... Yeah, Best Drop Video did it. Why can't Disney freaking do it? Yeah, I... The Lion's Gate. Oh, my God. Ugh. Fuck them. I don't care about well, Lion's Gate. they did revive Best Drop Video, but... Yeah. Still. But still, Lion's Gate is still a shit company, despite that. But MGM tends to be way better of a company. Guys, I recommend you give money to Child's Play in my opinion, on June 21st, rather than Toy Story 4, which they lied about. They originally said that third would be the last one. They even ended the movie so, as an, a farewell, uh, basically. I just did more research, and... So, the, so, so MGM's doing a remake of uh, a film that barely anybody knows about, and that thing called Night of the Comet. So, like mm -hmm. I said before, I think there's... Yeah, take while Disney's doing what's more popular and doing the whole opposite with it, fucking it up. So they're going to take these, these cult movies and put them out to a wider audience so that way people would, more, would know more about the originals, I think. I mean, why can't Disney do what those companies do? That's why I'm so mad at Disney. Why can't they be the success story that <sighs> these other companies are being like? MGM. Who was actually making fun of Bob Iger and his stupidity. And him I showing literally how Apple transparent the his screw ups are for the company. But with the release of, um, Frank, what was it called? Oh, yeah. This one is a female centered remake of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels called The Hustle. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, so basically, when that came out around, um, 
they poke fun at the trailers for Endgame, the new Avengers movie. So, I think it's clear where they're going. Even though, obviously, the hustle wasn't nowhere near as good as Endgame, but you get the point. He's back, so awkward silence. I'm back, and guess what? Uh, MGM seems to be a lot more credible. You want to know why? Spill it. They actually reply to some of the positive uh, feedbacks that they... Oh, yeah. Well, guess what? With Disney, if you give them a positive feedback, they don't reply to you. Which is more well, credible to you? Die, to fans, really guys. Which is more credible to you? Replying to fans or never getting back with fans? That's bad service. Just eating a little bit. Sorry, guys. I haven't eaten since early this morning. Yeah. Hmm. Now we got a villain. Anyways, which one is more... Which one do you guys prefer? And honestly, please... I beg you more than anything. In the description of this video, please... I mean, in the comment section, please tell me which is more credible. Replying to fan base and actually reviving movies people have never heard of and hardly heard of, hear of? Or do you want them to remake classic movies and fuck it up without giving you any positive feedback or even replying to you? I heard that in supposedly in Bill and Ted Three, mm -hmm. that that the Grim Reaper in the second film is coming back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay then, that's that's. I actually haven't seen the Bill and Ted movies, but I hear they're ridiculous. Fun. Same here. I've never seen them either, but I hear they're funny. They're they're like the '80s versions of of um, Dumb and Dumber. Oh really? I have to watch them then. Yeah, they're like that Never ridiculous. <laughs> it's got it's got Alex Boehner and Keanu Reeves. Of course, you know how much I love. If it cares, Keanu I was eating Reeves. a little bit of macaroni and cheese left over. If it cares what I was eating. Yeah. Anyways, seriously, what is more credible to you? Please answer in the comment section. 
taking feedback and just being nice and doing requ taking actually taking requests of what they want the companies to do or do what Disney's doing just ignore the fans and do whatever you feel is possible even if it's stupid I'm just shocked that most people seem to prefer Disney. That's sad. Yeah, because... I mean, it's like, my God. Sure, they, they had their classics had back then, but like they're actually Batman fucking it up. Back, um, These remakes are getting down, lower ratings um, than the originals. You know it's bad when the, origin when the originals have much higher ratings than the remakes themselves. That tells you something is wrong. You should listen to that. Yeah, yeah, now uh, MGM revived the Orion Classics label last year. Yeah. I mean, they're actually staying true, and they're staying classic. You know, United Arts doing that? Why is Disney not deciding to stay classic? Yeah, that attract uh, more people, yeah. and you'll it's get amazing. more money that way. It's just stupid to do the other way. And not only that, but... Very unsmart. Orion yeah. Oh, Orion Television is also a thing. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I mean it's back being a thing. <clears throat> See? Look at all the... That's like at least 10 to 12 editions. And United Artists is also now doing... And Disney's like doing works. nothing but taking things away that were originally good. That's all they're doing. They destroyed so, yet another what company, would be Fox. Nice is if they did some new Stargate movie. No one would be surprised if Disney attempted to buy MGM. Oh yeah, they actually already did! Then MGM went like, no, fuck you. Oh, yeah, MGM basically stuck up their finger at Disney. What's it? I'm so happy so about MGM this. doing that. MGM MGM's declined. Yeah? had the rights to MGM's movies on home video. Mm -hmm. So basically when they found when, when, when Disney was said, said that they were going to buy the company, MGM basically gave them a middle finger and moved to Universal for home video. Good. <laughs> now you guys yeah. see a little better how much of a mess Disney really is. All that good Disney stuff MGM's money, giving you. But MGM cares about the fans, I guess. Yeah, that's really what it boils down to. Disney only gets away with it because we let them. We yeah, shouldn't let them get away with it. Even if the movies that come out totally bomb, they, at least they try to please the fans. Yeah. Well, Disney doesn't care. They don't say anything about it. Like, they, basically, they don't they, reply to any of their they, fans they either. So much money, and they know that... Well, uh, MGM actually replies to the fans sometimes. To them, at least. <laughs> Which is definitely a good company image. Yeah. So, yeah, imagine the day Disney, go, Disney runs out of money again. Mm-hmm. Not be the first time. And, tell you one thing, MGM went bankrupt one time. Mm-hmm. When? So... If they're not coming back prepared, I don't know what they're doing. Can At least they, they're, they're trying to please the fans, though. Prepared. Unlike Disney. Disney's not even trying to please the fans anymore. Which is a very stupid decision to do. And, um... And after that, that dreaded bankruptcy from MGM, mm -hmm. from 2011 to 2018, they were doing all kinds of collaborations with other students and rather than hand handling it themselves but yeah why not things took a turn with the with the release of that death wish remake that came out in 2018 i think that was the first film to be distributed by mgm and god knows how long like by themselves mm -hmm. you know again i think anna per yeah and again anna perna's Helping out with their distribution material.
I mean, why not do some more classic stuff? Why not keep it classic? Why, why completely destroy what your company used to be? Yeah, I can't believe it's in here, but I kind of miss Michael Eisner. Oh, yeah, me too. At least the company was still functioning, and some of the movies were good back when he was there. Now, Bob Iger, I don't think even a single movie I like from Bob Iger. I don't think even a single. Yeah, like, Not even a they, single. Okay, here's some advice to Disney. I didn't even like a single movie from if him. They, if they'll even listen. I don't even think. Rather than remaking um, these big movies that you've already done, remake something like, like their lesser known films, like what... Orion is doing, you know? Exactly. Why not do what Orion's doing? Like, Revive companies rather than freaking killing them. Yeah, like, so, let's say, for instance, I would totally pay to see a remake of Newsies. Not a lot of people know about that one, so why not make a new one? I mean, yeah, that actually would be a great idea. Uh, do a Homeward Bound 3. Barely anyone's heard of that. Nowadays. Yeah. <clears throat> There's some kids that don't even know what that movie is. <laughs> yeah. Why not revive it so more people know what it is? Or, you know what? I have an idea. This will give you a lot of money. Why not finally release Song of the South here in the States? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that, that be amazing? Would be epic. I just thought of that. Why not you actually, even for a limited time, I'd pay to go see it instantly. That'd be the only thing i touch from Disney again if they ever re-release yeah. that movie. If they ever re-release that movie and not screw it up. I'd actually freaking go see it. Yeah. If they did that, then I could forgive Disney for what they've done. But yeah, right so now, I, I'm, I'm still, well, I don't know if I would, probably not. Because Disney has done so many screw ups, it's just you just can't you just can't stay silent about it. I mean, it's just it's in it's it's crazy that we're actually allowing them to get away with it. But then with MGM, people aren't as excited with MGM apparently as Disney, which yeah, sucks. Really sucks not because they're not as big as the studio, but still. At least they're trying to please the fans. Disney, who's a major more major studio, doesn't care about the fans really. No. They don't care if a movie sucks, like Aladdin and Dumbo remakes that got lower ratings than potentially, but they were... Yeah, let me look at the, um... Even though Aladdin already anticipated to be garbage. I already knew that would be garbage, and same with Dumbo. Yeah, let me just do more research on Thomas Crown Affair real quick. Okay, so... Hmm, so the Thomas Crown Affair, I think, was. Wait, was it a book? I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Also, ask your fans' input on things. Ask what your fans want to see, like what MGM does. Well, I mean, not much. Not much is known about the Thomas. Oh, Thomas Crown Affair is actually a 1968 film. <clears throat> And it was remade in 1999, mm -hmm. so I'm curious what they're going to do with the new one that they plan to do. So, alright, I'll wait till more info spills on that. Hmm. So, yeah, and I know they did a sequel to Into the Blue, and that was terrible, so they basically just gave up on Into the Blue. Mm-hmm. Hmm, what else? What else? What else is there? Honestly, even the first film looked like garbage, but I'll keep it for the collection purposes. Yeah, yeah. Then again, it's, it's some stupid chick flick or something. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> hmm. Anyways, does this make any more sense now that Disney is wrong in this case? Ooh. So, they're, so under the Orion label, they're doing a new movie called Songs of the Damned. Wow. And it's supposedly about, it's set in 1984, and, it, and it's about like a group of inmates stage a musical as a way to escape from prison. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's pretty freaking creative. I've never heard a story that, like... I mean, you're telling me out of thousands of people you can't come up with another idea, movie idea? 
obstacle Crazy. to escape from prison. Hmm. That they're that lazy. And hey, you know how MGM's mm -hmm. big, big hits were musical themed films? I mean, guys, why should we be complacent with what Disney's doing? If MGM is doing the same, if, if MGM's doing the same thing, but they're actually, there's a reason for it. They're not just doing it for the hell of it. They're doing it because some of them is what fans want and what they anticipated for. What Disney's doing is just out of their, out of the blue. Nobody asked for them, and it's just, and they just, some of them just suck. I, well, actually, all I, of them, really, I in just, my opinion. I just realized something. What? With that, with that new prison musical film that that the Atlanta mm. was doing, and never mind, you know how MGM's big films back then were musicals? Yeah. This might be a warm up to their comeback. Yeah. Well, look at how many things Disney destroyed from the originals. Mm, look at what MGM's doing. They're reviving the old days because they already acknowledged that the old days sold better. And, they, MG, they and while did, Disney's uh, too stupid to figure that out. And MGM recently did a horror musical film called End of the Apocalypse, which I wow. think is absolutely ridiculous, but people love it. Still, honestly, I actually really like that movie idea. I might go see that. I might watch that movie sometime. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, when it comes out. Oh, yeah. It's not there's out. There's no okay. trailer okay. yet, but when it comes out, I'll let you know. <clears throat> Curious to see how it does. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. What's your guys' thoughts? <clears throat> Is Disney still your favorite? Or do you think... What MGM's doing is actually really pleasing right. the fans. Well, Disney what Disney's doing is just kids, dick. But they're bad for the for, for they're bad for the film industry. Yes, Disney's bad for the film industry. That's why I'm always ranting on Disney because Disney is bad for the film industry. We have to call it out. Disney is terrible when it comes to the and, movie industry. And, and now MGM is putting out their movies on YouTube for free. Yeah. For instance, they put out the Terminator. I saw. The Terminator movie on YouTube for free. Even though that's freaking unequal that they won't let us do it. I mean, I think, I mean, I think that's more NGM rather than YouTube. That's stupid. So I think, you, I think if you post something that's like NGM unequal. rather than like the other studios, then I think you're in luck. And they recently put out the TV version of Ronin on YouTube. Which, I don't know why I did the TV version, but whatever. And Maybe for a variation or something. Yeah, and now, and now the entire Legally Blonde movie is free to watch on YouTube. Thanks wow. Um, so yeah, I guess MGM really doesn't care about the money. See, well, Disney... And you know what? MGM should be making more money than Disney because guess what? Dis what Disney's doing is just, they're they're taking yeah. away things that people liked. Well, MGM is reviving the things we liked. And the thing is that MGM back in the forties and thirties they were on top of the world. Yeah. And Disney was an absolute nobody back then. But then again, oh it was yeah. Disney. I mean, I, I don't think I could make this any clearer that MGM really is the way to go in this case. Hmm. On and June 21st, I Instagram recommend right you go see Child's Play if you're 18 or older. I'm going to check the Instagram right now just to see what they've been doing lately. Hmm. So occasionally they actually ask fans some questions like, what is yeah. your favorite Pink Panther episode? Why doesn't Disney do something like this? But no. They find excuses to not do something like this. And they just did a and they just did a Facebook group recent that is just completely dedicated to space balls. Yeah. <clears throat> so at least MGM's trying to have fun with their fans. Yeah, while well, Disney's stripping away that. 
And now, and now they're preparing for Bond 25, and they've got like an all-star cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It couldn't be any more clearer who's right. And... and Compared to MGM, because, Disney is know, absolutely and, nothing. And, uh, April 11th, which is National Pet Day, they posted a clip of Maul Dog doing a head and out that Aww. you can see me hugging Charlie. I forgot, oh, like Anne Marie was the kid's name. Hugging, tra- hugging Charlie the dog. And it says in the description, this National Pet Day, give your furry friend a big hug and hold them tight with a heart Aww. That was great. Why doesn't Disney do something like that? And and occasionally they celebrate their so the, the people that they've worked with, like say, yeah, Robin Wright from The Princess Bride. They celebrate celebrities' birthdays. Mhm. Um, and also, you see they, all this bonus stuff MGM does. That Disney doesn't even consider. And they... And they occasionally... And there was one thing that they did to celebrate some, like, an aunt's anniversary. They actually post some pictures of, like, the poster, but with some things edited out so they have to have the fans guess on what film it is until they reveal it. Mm-hmm. To, 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 to remind them, hey, this movie's anniversary is today, or something like that. And and hey, they they recently celebrated the um they 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 were promoting Back to School recently the movie Back mm-hmm. to School it may be spring break season but it's time to go back to school with Rodney Dangerfield. Get the classic film on sale now. <laughs> yep. And and they and they're basically um promoting um they're basically or telling the fans to celebrate and Reese Witherspoon's birthday because oh, wow. you know she was in Legally Blonde and reminded the fans that hey it's her birthday so why don't you give her a shout out something like that. Mm-hmm. I like that MGM does that. Unlike Disney. See how many bonuses MGM gives you for the money you spend? Disney doesn't give you any of that. What Disney does instead, they kill companies. Like Fox. So we now have one less bigger company. Which is terrible! You know Fox is one of the only good companies nowadays? Even that's gone. Because Disney... Doesn't know what the hell they're doing. It's so stupid. And hang on, I'm doing more. I'm gonna do some research on Spaceballs right now. And they might be doing a sequel to Spaceballs. Hmm. Uh, MGM, not Disney, obviously. And 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 if it does happen, they might call the sequel this: Spaceballs Two. The search for more money. Oh wow! <laughs> Basically, it's it might be making fun of how much they, how much these big studios milk their franchises. Oh, exactly. That's what you should do. Because what they're what doing is beyond right stupid. With the, if they ever do get this freaking movie done. It's okay. It's a hard movie, the type of movie to make. Yeah. Anything else to say? Or did we cover about everything? Um, nothing at the moment, no. Okay. So, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think I, I think I finally had my thoughts out. Me too. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Later, guys. Take care. Have a good rest of your day.